I'm a grad student in the Department of Russian, East European, and Eurasian Studies, and I also do a lot of work with the Department of Social Anthropology. Well, I became interested in Tuvan music when I was studying abroad in uh, Amsterdam a few years back, and when I returned to Texas, I set my sights on getting in touch with musicians from the Republic, and eventually this played out. Uh, by way of a series of coincidences and I was able to bring a group of musicians from Siberia to the University of Texas to perform uh, and with the help of the Department of Russia and East European and Eurasian Studies I was able to carry out a series of concerts over the past few years featuring the musicians and uh, eventually I was invited to uh, develop my studies and research through the department. Well, I like pretty much everything. Uh -huh. You know, I. I like expressions in all forms, um, but recently my focus has really been on folk music and blends of folk music with electronica. The first song that I really like is by a Tuvan group uh, called Hun Hur Tu. It's very simplistic in its presentation. There's just a single drum being played uh, with two different singers, but the amount of sound that the Tuvan people are able to create in their voices um, is just really breathtaking. Okay, <laughs> second song is Spitting Venom by Modest Mouse. Well, I think a lot of um, the lyrics that are written by Modest Mouse are informed by um, maybe spiritual questions that I myself have had in the past year, and I feel a lot of their lyrics resonating with me these days. Uh, third is called Starting Over by The Crystal Method. Mm -hmm. and. I really enjoy electronic music, and uh, this song in particular is great. Um, following that theme, the next song is called Angel by Massive Attack, um, also a pretty low-key electronica song. Uh, fifth song is Oi Maros Maros, it's a Russian folk song, and uh, you can probably find it on YouTube translated it just means oh frost frost what is it i mean it's about being cold <laughs> yeah and about like coming home to your wife and you're you know watering your horse and mm -hmm. just a folk song but it's very good uh the sixth song i like actually more for the accompanying music video than for the song itself but it's called frontier psychiatrist by the avalanches mm. and this would actually be really great for you to see mary because um it really is a slap in the face to psychoanalysis. Then Seven isn't really a particular song, but I like anything by the group Justice. Yes. I love Justice. <laughs> so just check them out. Eighth song is Enesai, which is by the Alash Ensemble, which is the group I work with mm -hmm. at Rangti UT. You can find them on YouTube as well. The song is about the uh, Yenisei River, which is actually a Russian bastardization of the um, Tuvan word. Inisai, and Inisai essentially means Mother River, and again, with the animist spiritual outlook that these people maintain, they believe that their ancestors exist and are maintained within this river, mm -hmm. and uh, going to that river and singing to it uh, is essentially giving tribute to your lineage. Then the ninth song is Loose As Loose Can Be by a local band called Six Pack, and Sick is the artist who came up with the group. Mm -hmm. and. For me, this band is the most enjoyable and um, musically developed uh, group performing in Austin right now. He does a blend of like Appalachian folk with uh, like thrash punk. Last song on the list is Pris Goryavar Yacha, which is a Bulgarian folk song that I really like. The Bulgarian music, particularly as sung by women, uh, deals a whole lot with uh, the harmonics that I mentioned earlier. They are not particularly um, couldn't really be called throat singers formerly, but what they do is uh, they'll have you know, several singers maintain a drone pitch over which a um, lead singer will improvise melodies, but the fundamental drone created by the, the other singers is often um, modulated just enough to where the harmonic overtones of their fundamental pitch will create a sonic dissonance with the melodies created by the lead singer. and actually creates a fifth sound um, that kind of isn't really being made by anyone.